Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, AZ Trimester. Well, I'm on my way to work. Um, I just figured I'd stop in and uh, give you guys a little intro to the uh, demo I did this past Sunday at Roadrunner Harley. Um, I took out a few bikes. Um, I just had the opportunity to kind of, you know, record the um, intro, let's say portion, um, for the fat boy I took out, but uh, not for the Road King or the Lowrider. So, essentially, that's kind of what I'm doing, just giving you a little preemptive, hey, what's up? So, the um, the Road King, yeah, I took that out. That was pretty unexpected. I had wanted to take out um, mostly just soft tails, I think. Um, and, you know, had there been a Roadster, I would have taken that out. But, um, like I said, pretty unexpected. And, uh, but, you know, I said, what the heck, I'll do it. And... Uh, <laughs> It's quite an interesting experience. So, but uh, I mean, see for yourself. All right, they got me suiting up on a uh, Road King here, which uh, <laughs> this is this is quite a bike. Yeah, of course, everybody's waiting on me right now. Whoa. She's a beast. This is a big bike. Oh, damn. Alright, I'm on a Road King. Now, they just threw me on this thing last second, so... I don't know a whole lot about it. And I sound like I'm out of breath. Yeah, it's a 114. I sound like I'm out of breath because... I was lugging this thing around. Man, this is a big bike. <laughs> wow. Effortless handling. All right, so off the bat so everyone is aware I am five foot five on a good day well right now I'm rocking my um, riding shoes and uh, I'm tippy toe on this thing and I think it's just because of the width Um, and I like the floorboard position, but these stock bars suck. <laughs> I'm leaned over. It shouldn't be that way. Anyways, I was tippy-toed, um, and I think it's just the width. Um, also, I was having trouble uh, pulling the kickstand back so I could uh, take off. Now, it may also be that the shock is um, set up stiff. Man, it's a smooth bike. Wow. Give me some taller bars on this, man. This thing's nice. But I was having trouble getting the kickstand. Um, and again, it's just the short legs reaching for that. Uh, having trouble reaching for the kickstand. But... Um, once I got it, you know, everything's, uh, pretty straightforward, normal Harley operations and clutch, throttle, <clears throat> all that stuff. It feels like the, uh, the control clusters are actually closer, easier to reach. The, uh, the blinkers seem to be right there yeah I can reach it really easy <laughs> excuse me all right I'm gonna pimp stand this thing because uh, I 
Yeah, is this thing cammed? It's got like a lope to it. So yeah, um, comfort-wise, where the uh, foot position is and the, uh, the 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 seat, all of that is really nice. Um, and it 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 turns in really uh, effortlessly too. It's a really good handling motorcycle. Um, the the width is is noticeable in the seat in the inseam. And it needs some bars. Jeez. Guys, come on, man. Yep, good, good, predictable turn. Woo, it gets it. Smooth. Good Lord. Completely unaffected by wind and road. This thing is nice. Very nice. And I'm in fifth. I haven't even put it in six yet. Man, just cruising. Well, I'm going to complain about the bars just one more time and then I swear I'll stop. They're really wide. I mean, I can imagine that somebody larger than myself is traditionally going to be the rider on this type of motorcycle. So the width of the bar is probably going to be better for them. For me, it's it's very wide. Um, and they're low and they're pulled back. So like, you know, give me something taller, a little bit narrower. But other than that, man, I'll tell you what, if this is the type of bike you're interested in, you know, like a bagger style. This thing is wonderful. Oh, yeah. This thing makes the, uh, the road feel like it's freshly paved. Well, I don't know that I have anything to compare this to because, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's I have a, I have a soft tail, um, but I have ridden the uh, Indian Chieftain, and this has a, a very, very, very similar. Um, handling platform it's, it's very confident in the low speed turns the turn in is predictable the line is predictable characteristics as far as throttle response engine feel those types of things differ between the bikes and obviously the Chieftain's got an upper fairing um, so not the best comparison but um, this thing's great though You know, you think of, uh, oh yeah, how about a windshield? And it's like, I don't want to ruin 
the look of this thing, but I think it could benefit from it a little bit. trying to think about what bike I'm going to take out next just because I've pretty much ridden you know the only the only sports as they have out are the 48 and the 1200 I've ridden both of those iron 1200 um, and then all the soft tails they have out available I've ridden except for the low rider I've ridden low rider s it's not the low rider but I don't really know how much you know how different that really is you know, maybe I should take it out. I mean, I'm here, right? Why not? Whew! She's got that distinct Harley shake. Look at this guy all comfy with his feet flat. And I'm over here tippy toeing. I can see Ephraim in the rear view and he's on a uh, soft tail standard and he's flat footed. You guys are all jerks. I bet this thing would sound like a beast with some pipes too. understand why we're just sitting here. Time's a wasting. Being on these different bikes out here and just kind of acclimating to their different characteristics and really makes me, just reminds me how much I love motorcycles. Like, it's to be out here in the open air, it's beautiful out, good company, friends, beautiful motorcycles. And uh, you get to experience something new. I mean, at least that's how I try to approach it. I mean, I could go to a demo day and ride the same damn bikes I've always ridden. Or, take out something new. Learn from it share the experience so yeah uh, I don't know what could possibly like what particular things can be done to this particular bike this road king that would make it more accommodating for someone of my height um, I'm sure a seat is one thing but I don't know what sort of shock or shocks they have on this um, you know, if it could potentially be lowered, I mean, maybe maybe an air ride. I don't know. I just don't know how much an air ride sacrifices the the great handling that this thing has. Um, and then, you know, as goofy as it sounds, and if you're not a short person, then you wouldn't understand or get it. But reaching that kickstand's a bit of a, a bugger. So, um, yeah, if there's a, a lower seat 
or the you know lower shock probably don't need any assistance with the uh, kickstand but without those things it is a little tough to reach You know, there's bikes I've had where I go to demo days and after riding, you know, a handful of other motorcycles, I don't want to get back on my bike. <laughs> I'm jealous. Wish I, wish I could get one of those ones or whatever the case is. Um, and then there's demo days where, and it's not that the, you know, quality of the motorcycle um, that I'm riding uh, in the demo it's just uh, how good a fit of the motorcycle that I currently own and and lately doing demos and then getting back on my slim I'm, I feel at home like I love that bike so we'll have to see how today feels because um, it took out that fat boy and the handling was uh, I don't know if strenuous is the right term, but it was not as uh, effortless as the slim. Uh, this 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 guy right here handles great. It's just a bit of a beast as far as like its size and its weight. Um, it's definitely meant for someone that's taller than me. That's for certain. But we'll see. Maybe I'll take out one more. kind of want to make sure that my, my buddies are taken care of too. Cruz currently has a uh, Roadster. I don't know how much he's in the market because I know he likes his bike a lot. Plus he bought it from Roadrunner. Um, so I know he's happy with the transaction. Now Efren's on a Yamaha R3 and um, Whatever you may think about those motorcycles, uh, it's very surprising how uh, how much performance that little 300 puts out. It's, it's really cool. But he's uh, ridden some larger bikes lately, and he's got an eye for him right now. He took out you know some some 600 cc sport bikes, and then some Sportster 1200s. I think he's on a soft tail uh, standard right now. But in any regard, um, he. Uh, He's been looking at these, so I'm, you know, I want to make sure he's got uh, good info that he's equipped with, uh, equipped with good info to to, to make a decision. Um, I come from sport bikes, uh, and 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 several, you know, and Japanese bikes, and I've had some European imports and. And this and that and this and that and uh, you know I I had my 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 CVR for I don't know only like five six years and I loved that bike and then you know and then I didn't have it anymore and then, you know then I'd ridden some different style motorcycles a Sportster forty eight and a Yamaha FZ and you know these different bikes and now I do these demo days not just with Harleys but then I get back on something that's a sport bike and uh, I really only want to be on it as long as that demo and then I'm ready to 
get back on something a little more comfortable. You know, if I had all kinds of money, I'd have a sport bike, but it'd be a track bike. It wouldn't be street legal. It'd, it'd be, you know, prepped for, for track day riding, and I would do, I'd be an avid track day rider. But since that's not the case, I want to be, you know, comfortable on the bike that I spend the most time on. So. But I do like the middle, the middle range bikes, the, the sport standard, as you might call them, street fighter, naked, whatever. Um, and uh, after I sold my 77 XS500, and I had a good chunk of change in hand, I was, you know, considering my next project, my next build, but then also saw some um, Ducati, almost like monster style Ducatis in the uh, 700 to 800 cc range for for a good price used of course because I really like that exposed trellis frame so I was considering something like that but I've got a few things I want to tackle first and then uh, and then I'll be looking I'll make a decision I still have the KZ400 I'm going to build a tracker out of that I think that's a smart build for something that doesn't hold a lot of value um, smaller displacement bikes just traditionally don't have a lot of resale so why dump five grand worth of kick-ass bobber parts into it um, if I'm not going to get it back on resale so anywho uh Almost back to the dealership on this Road King, and uh, okay. While I was conversing, I forgot that I was on a demo, a, a larger demo bike. And, uh, which is a good sign. It's a good sign. It's a good sign because it's it's comfortable. It's uh, it's sort of effortless. I mean, you know, other than my reach issues, it's a good bike. If only. When I grow up, I want to be taller. You know what's funny? I just realized I stuck my hat in the passenger strap when there's bags on this damn thing. I <laughs> like, I could have put it in one of the bags. I've just never had a motorcycle with bags, so. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Totally missed it. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, well, here we are back. Looks like there's more people here now, so I may not have an opportunity to take another bike out. So there you have it. Like I said, uh, interesting, quite an experience. But um, you know, hopefully it uh, gives a little bit of insight on what it's like for a short person to ride a larger motorcycle. Larger. But um, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, um, and while you're doing that, stop by the description of the video where you're going to find a link to Dean Speed Customs. Um, take a quick look at the website and if there's anything you like and you decide to pull the trigger on it 
put the coupon code AZ Triumpster in uh, when you have your shopping cart together uh, for a, a discount. So, all right, guys. Yep, hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Nope. Can't get the kickstand. Kickstand. It it's the kickstand. Kickstand. Yeah, I couldn't reach it. <laughs> <laughs>